Oh, no. This is an easy way to figure out how to siphon some water out of your flooded basement without getting a mouthful of muddy or dirty water. So we've got a hose into where we need to come out of. <clears throat> we just want a normal, this is just normal 12 mil garden hose. It's got to make sure this end is lower than what where you're actually taking the water from. So we're connected on here. We just want to turn this on. So turn that on. And essentially, that's just taking all of the air, pushing all of the air that's in that blue hose up and out into the water. So there should be a few bubbles coming out of this hose up here. I can see here it's pushing a few of the bubbles out of this line. Okay, so we've got our flooded basement area here. We've got a crude setup of a tin just sitting on the edge of the hose here now. So you can see there's not many bubbles coming out of that now. This water's quite clean, but yeah, you still wouldn't want to get a mouthful of it anyway. Right, so that's running nice and clean now. No bubbles coming out. We know all the air's out of this blue hose. So we follow our hose back over the stairs here, down to outside. Turn our tap off. Now that line, the grey and the blue, is fully charged with water. And all we need to do now is just simply disconnect the hose. And our siphon starts. So we've got no, didn't have to get a mouthful of horrible water. We've got plenty of fall down here to drain out, and that water will just keep draining. The only thing you need every so often is just to check that there's nothing that's clogged up the intake end of the hose. So I actually did this yesterday afternoon and it's been absolutely pouring since about, it was here about two o'clock yesterday afternoon and this has been going all night. I've just had to come back on the job this afternoon and just, um, just restarting it because it did have a bit of plastic in the line there. But if that hadn't have been going all night, I think there would have been a waterfall coming down those stairs as has happened before. I've got another bigger problem underneath the house here that will be the next, um, the next project to get started on.